What's up guys, Wade here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your iPhone 3G or iPod Touch 2G um, running 4.0 firmware. Um, now before you do this, you want to make sure that your iPod Touch is the non-MC version. Um, if you're not sure if your iPod Touch is the MC version or not, go ahead and go into Settings, go into General, and go into About. And you want to go down here to the model, and if it says MB, then you're going to be okay. If it says MC, then you know you have the MC model, and this jailbreak is going to be a little bit more difficult for you. So once you make sure you have the non-MC version, go ahead and connect your device up to your computer, and you're going to want to download Red Snow 0.9.5. I'll have a link to that in the video description if you need to download that. Um, and once that's downloaded, you can go ahead and open it up, and um, you're going to have the option to browse. Um, and what this is going to do is just going to look for the firmware that you need um, that's installed on your device. If you don't have the 4.0 firmware saved on your computer, I'll have a link in the video description as well to where you can download it. So just go ahead and choose the firmware that is on your device. And go ahead and click open. And it'll process the firmware. And if you're on the iPod Touch, then this little pop-up is going to say make sure you're not on the MC model. Um, and it's just going to say, is this the newer model? And you can go ahead and click no if you're not on it. And um, once that pop-up has gone away, you can go ahead and click next. And it'll download some stuff. It'll patch the kernel. Um, it'll do all the things it needs to do to prepare for the jailbreak. And it'll come to a screen like this, uh, which will have a lot of different options. I'll just explain some of the options here. We've got install Cydia, which will install the Cydia application. So you can install... Um, all the custom things you need, like winter board and different themes and packages and whatnot. Um, you have the Verboost boot option, um, and basically what that is, is every time you boot up your device, instead of seeing the Apple logo or your custom um, boot up logos, it'll show some white text scrolling down the screen uh, that is just um, showing you what exactly it's doing while it's booting up. It's not, it's, it's kind of cool, but it's not really necessary if you're not a developer or don't really need to see that. Uh, you can just use leave it as um, the boot logos, um, whether it be the Apple logo or a custom logo that you put in yourself. Um, if you do want a custom boot logo or custom recovery mode, you can leave that. Um, you can check that option, and a little pop-up will come up, and will let you choose any saved image um, that you have on your computer to use as the boot logos. And you also have the option to enable multitasking and enable home screen wallpaper. Um, as you guys know, those options were left out of the 4.0 software update. Um, for the iPhone and iPod Touch, 3G and 2G. Uh, so now you guys can have multitasking and home screen wallpaper um, right from the 4.0 software update after the jailbreak is done. And then the last option is just um, enable battery percentage. So alongside the little battery icon, it'll tell you the exact percentage of how much battery you have left. So after you have those options checked, you can go ahead and click Next. Um, and it'll tell you to turn off your device and to make sure it's plugged in. So go ahead and just turn off the iPod now. And you're going to hit next and it's going to give you some steps. You're going to want to hold the power button for three seconds. And you're going to, without releasing the power button, hold down the home button as well for about 10 seconds. And then once your phone turns off again, you're going to want to um, release the power button but keep holding the home button for about 30 seconds. Go ahead and go through those instructions, um, and once your device is in DFE mode, it'll start the jailbreaking process. Um, this shouldn't take too long at all. Um, it'll give you the uh, little text telling you what exactly it's doing to your device and a progress bar on how it's doing. You'll notice your device um, is going to go through a couple different images, and it's also going to tell you what exactly it's doing. Um, so right now it's just downloading the jailbreak data and installing all the things it needs. Um, and it will reboot in just a minute. All right, and once everything has been installed, you should see um, the boot up screen once again, and it'll restart the device into its now jailbroken state. All right, and then you can just slide to unlock. And you can see now that it is in fact jailbroken, and you'll have the Cydia icon um, as well. I'll go ahead and just show you guys that it is in fact on 4.0. We 
you can see version 4.0 and um, like I said before uh, if you have that option checked you now have the ability to um, have multitasking and obviously the lock screen um, as your home screen background and there's multitasking as you guys can see so there you go um, if you have any questions or have any problems um, feel free to post a, post a comment or send me a message and I will do my best to help you out um, like I said this will work for both the iPod Touch 2G and iPhone 3G and this does work on both Mac and PC um, so there you go um, and I will see you guys in the next video